who make the strings louder. <laughs> So for the longest time, I've been waiting to do this. That line was from when we did talk about Dino IT. And again, it was still in the beginning. The hate was for Dino was still going on back in 2017. But a year later, things have changed. They have. And today we are going to be talking about Dino IT as of the updates with his channel. FitCon, the recent videos he's made, and also stuff that people don't really want to talk about on the internet. But this is purely speculation when it comes to that, and I will let you know. So, Dino IT. I've been waiting for this day. The day where we will be doing a channel with you on Dino IT. Welcome guys to another episode of the Channel Refuse. I am so sorry it's been a long time. Now, who are we reviewing today? Yeah, I know I just said it, but well, we are reviewing. What's up guys, Dino here and welcome back to another video with this kid and this kid. He's listening to our house. TV. In case you don't know. what? Dino IT is another small YouTuber with um, subscriber counts from 12 thousand and a bit over. The views in total has gotten so many that this is more than the other channels are that actually spoken upon as of within the views in total on Dino IT's channel is over well uh, is over four million and a bit more. He started his YouTube channel back on the 24th of July 2013. Now this is for his main channel because then after that he started another channel called Dino KYT on the 13th of January 2016 and then on the 11th of August 2017 he started his third channel called It's Dino. Sorry I'm reading from something I am. Um, now this channel, the main one, uh, Dino YT this channel is his most popular channel with the subscriber count I just said to you. The other ones are ranging from his second channel with 145 and the another one, this third one being the 29 subscribers. Only on there's only one video on both of those channels, but with the Dino YT, that seems to be the most popular place. He is 14 years old old he is and yes he's also on Fidme which is quite fantastic that is. He makes content from well different ranges of content there's not really a set fix for this person but for example uh, he has made a review of it, he does vlogs, he does uh, challenges, he does um, different other stuff and he has collaborated with some other small YouTubers, such as the names being that uh, I'm going to say two for now, uh, Chris Cat and also Yags TV. If you want to go and check out the channel with you of Yags TV, then the link will be down below or in the cards. How did he get to be this, um, well, I guess popular? How did he get so many views and so many subscribers? Well, for my apologies that I did not say anything about this for the other YouTubers, but for this one I can clearly say that he got popular through VidCon 2016 and 17. Well, mainly 16 actually. Um, how? Well, through doing VidCon uh, episode vlogs, whether they like to call it, of Dino IT me meeting different YouTubers, but most popular being the Psycho Family and also Midjug Nuggets. Now, the videos are good, I've watched them myself, but as well as coming popular and getting a lot of views, will also come a lot of hate. Dino IT is, well, people have something I guess in their head to know that oh this is a, another popular kid that we must hate. Yes he gets quite a lot of dislikes within one of his videos being um, the whisper challenge with 
Chris K and Yeggs TV, two wonderful people. That that video got 29 dislikes with 22 likes. So it looks like to me that uh, the the sh they're just either liking for fun, they're jealous, or anything else. Either way, I actually really do support Dino IT, which will be quite helpful because I want to go through my different points where I don't really s I don't really put this in for other channel reviews because they're doing fantastic. But for this one, I feel like I need to say what I feel. As well, I am a big supporter of. Yags TV. I am also a supporter of Dino YT. Being me that I am 17, I have actually read a moment on Twitter called We Are Just Teens. If you want to go and check that video, it will be down below. It's where I voiced over some of his tweets that are in this moment, and I feel like it's a good video. And what I basically say at the end, well, I agree with everything that Dino IT says, and the dislikes that he's getting is just cruel, it is. Because usually when you get dislikes, it means that the video is either not good, or you may have said something offensive or bad, but really, for Dino IT, he's just a kid and a teen, and he's just making videos, and I clearly support him. I am subscribed to him, and yes, I did leave one of the comments that could considered to be a hate comment but really what I was trying to say is that um, unless it's okay to act as yourself in a little video with my jug nuggets but when you're acting like it's will and and then another video later well another I guess two videos later you say it's all fake then and then that's where it gets me to be annoyed because when I act as myself in different videos I, I really do try my best to disclose that all of this is just fake, it's just acting I could never do what they could do because I feel like it's mean and cruel to you guys because I respect you so much that I feel like I couldn't really do that I, I know and if you're hurt by that comment then I'm sorry and if you want me to remove the comment I will Yes, uh, my username on YouTube is Alice15, just a quick reminder. But apart from that, I support Dino IT. I just feel like I should get that out of the way. In conclusion, what do I think of this channel? I think this channel is fantastic. I feel like uh, Dino IT has got the fantastic editing skills as he has. And yes, I know he, every time to time, um, he may feel depressed about something and share it online. To be honest, most of the things he says, I really do agree with him. Dino IT, and I'm not saying this because I'm being nice, okay? Dino IT gets 9 out of 10. Starting out with the basics for Dino IT. So, the subscriber count that he has today is different to the one that he had last year. As of, he's got 15,551. Like, if we get another 500 subscribers, he will hit 16k, which, man, <laughs> it's funny because at the moment, I feel like Dino will be going up more faster than Yags TV at the moment. Maybe it's because they make different content, but yeah, it'll be interesting. It'll be interesting. As of video views, well, it was different to the time last year. Uh, it's up to 6 million at the moment, it is. Now, he joins, as you know, the 24th of July, 2013. And then also, um, his most popular video stayed with uh, 4, 4 million um, views, or 406 million. Um, it's the Temple One in VR, or the Samsung Gear One. Now, as you know, things from this information has changed quite a lot for over the time and I will congrats Dino YT for that. Now between the time of um, that channel with you and this channel with you, Dino has done some a lot of stuff in this time as of he went to FitCon. Recently when FitCon was on this year, he went again, he's made other videos, he's have but taken breaks but then recently came back a bit more by uploading every Friday. But 
after the recent Friday video that um, that he released as of the recording of this time, which is the 6th of August. Um, we don't know if he will continue to actually upload after then. He has said in one tweet that he um, wants to quit YouTube, but honestly, we're just going to have to wait and see. Now, if you're wondering, hey, what are these recent videos? Well, his videos are being talking about being a bit more will about you, like, for instance, titles like Hate, Being Yourself, and also the most one that is probably the people are going to be uh, more click about is the truth about FIFCON 2016. Now you should already know the situation already but let me just say this that I support Dino IT and the hate that he got back when this all started should have basically never happened. Honestly, it shouldn't. We are just teenagers. Listen and learn by Dino IT. Don't get mad at kids for these mistakes because they are they are in the public eye. Give them a damn chance. We are still kids. I feel restricted. No teenagers should feel like that. It's stupid and annoying from a kid in the famous public eye. We can't even live our normal lives anymore without someone pulling our strings and thinking we are at top of the world. Uptight about what a teen treats. I mean, we are teenagers. We are learning. Don't always take what we say seriously and get uptight about it. I mean, for example, I feel un greed. I can't say that. Sorry. To delete all my tweets because I want to begin something just because everyone is all. We are still kids and teens in their everyday life. We want to live, not to be talked to all the time about how much money we make, etc. I hate worrying about being yelled at, made fun of, and creating drama just because something I and Trines treat. With that being said, my treats will be deleted soon. Screenshot your favourite ones unless you unless you're going to use them against me for being a teenager. That's it. I want to tell back to a time where things were good, like Dino was uploading um, as much as he could, and I don't know, it just seemed like a happier time because 2017 was good. Like, remember this video? What's up guys, Dino here and welcome back to another video with this kid and this kid. He's listening to our house. TV. In case you don't know- what? In case you can't read the title, we're doing the whisper challenge. I'm gonna hold this not even near the camera, you're gonna be able to hear it. Copyright, bro! I probably said that too. Dino is a virgin. <laughs> Are you sure? Uh, yeah, what? Dino is official. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, now it's Dino's turn. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, yeah. Okay, okay dude, Dino is a When I do this, this is gonna go wrong. Okay. I'm probably gonna say- wait, why is this messed up? Do you know how this work? Oh. Ding dong, the witch is dead. Are you starting? Ding dong, the witch is dead. <laughs> Wait. This <laughs> <laughs> like so slabby. Okay. Even though I don't usually watch these type of videos because uh, why would people make them? But when it comes to Dino and then when he has Yag TV and Chris Cat on there, it makes it all better, it does, because we get them to see them in their real selves, not acting as anyone or not putting this thing of like, hey guys, and stuff like that. I thought this video was really good, even though I got a lot of dislikes. Ugh, people. But, 
I'm afraid not all friendships can actually last forever. Now, please note this is purely speculation of what Yags TV has said and also what Dino has said. When they went to FitCon last year, they were you know, all together, they were. But this year it seems to me they were not. And prior to one tweet giving off maybe a hint or the actual situation, is that it's quite simple that Yags TV did not want Dino to join that group from last year. Now, of course it is a shame because we don't get to see these two people interacting, but before going to FitCon, here's some backstory of what actually happened on the internet where most of the XTV fans were able to witness. So months ago, on one of the XTV's Twitch live streams as he was playing Fortnite, um, there was a lot of people there, there were, I was watching that, and Dino and also this other fan started to have a bit of a conversation. But mainly it's that one from what I got is that Dino wasn't feeling really happy and he said that he felt like people were treating him wrong and this is something maybe linking in with Yeggs TV. And then after that we really didn't I can't really remember if we ever saw Dino on that live stream ever again. And then even after FidCon when he joined Apparently he did join the Discord of Yags TV. He uh, left only through the few couple of hours of that Discord um, group being launched. So what can I expect from all of this? Well, from the information that I know and from how I feel at this point, at the ages of 16 and 17, you have a more higher weight of basically abandoning everyone and just being on your own and then also if and if that's not your case then congratulations you're still talking to the people and I'm not but that's one of the things that I can put up because six, the age of 16 and 17 for teenagers is possibly one of the hardest ages until you get to 18 because you're in the middle of turning between a teenager to those days being over to when you turn 18 so it can be a bit struggling but my main point is that wherever they are friends or not not talking or not I just want to say the good memories that we all had watching those videos and as I made best moments videos will always last in my heart and I will always enjoy looking back at the good times that you and Yaks TV had. But do I still give the channel the same way it's going to give last year? No. I'm going to upgrade it, upgrade it from a 9 out of 10 to a 10 out of 10. So hopefully that makes things all more better. To say that as content has updated, well, yes, I think so.